Well, this formal complaint goes into detail about a lack of detention officers inside the Cleveland County Jail. It also lists site checks being missed, something the Department of Health also noticed inside the facility. We've spent years with the same complaints at Oklahoma County Detention Center, and now to have Cleveland County kind of repeating that same pattern, I think it shows Oklahomans that this is systemic. Five inmate deaths under Cleveland County Detention Center's care have been reported so far in 2024. The most recent on October 3rd, where 34 year old Alex Germain Wright was found unresponsive inside of his cell. Cleveland County Sheriff's Office said detention officers conducted site checks where they saw Wright with no issues detected until the final site check found him unresponsive. It's unclear how Wright died. However, this formal complaint KOCO obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request was made to the Department of Health the day before his death, claiming only five detention officers were running the facility. However, the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office tells me those claims are not true. For people to go in not convicted, most of them, and to be uh, subjected to abuse, neglect, and uh, unfortunately death in many cases is just inhumane and it's really unconstitutional. In a January inspection report from the State Department of Health, the facility was found not in compliance with several key inspections, one of them for not conducting at least one visual site check every hour. Other deficiencies inside the facility range from cleanliness, sanitation, and failing to frequently observe inmates with significant medical or psychiatric problems or who may be a suicide risk. So what happens when a jail isn't up to standard? OSDH tells me in a statement based on state statute, they'll evaluate appropriate next steps, which could include them filing a complaint with the AG's office, local district attorney, administrative penalties, or a combination of all. You may have gone in there for some type of a charge. You may be a detainee, but once you're abused in there, you're now a victim and you have a right to speak out. Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.